In this video, we are going to learn how to use uh, Power BI Direct Query with SD Insight Interactive Query Cluster to analyze uh, the unstructured data very quickly. So I have a uh, interactive uh, query cluster um, and I am in the Ambari uh, interface. Um, you can use Ambari for many different things but one of the capability of Ambari that we are going to use today is to be able to create uh, the hive tables on top of raw unstructured data and then uh, query that table. So I want to create a new table uh, and I already have some uh, data that is si sitting on my, my machine. Uh, so I'm going to click on upload table and I can get data table from a variety of different places such as your data might be sitting on SDFS or you could just upload the data from your computer. So I am going to upload it. So I have a CSV file that called that is BM results. It's basically Boston Marathon results from uh, 2015. So I, I am going to open that. Uh, so moment I do that, uh, I can see that uh, the the table schema is um, is already identified by by Ambari. So uh, these are the column names. Um, then I can change uh, some of the the data type. It I did, it looks at the data and figure out what is the data type. But if you want to change, you are welcome to change. And then the name of the table. So na name of the table is a BM results, and then. I'm going to hit create. So what's happening right now is um, uh, Ambari is creating uh, hive tables on top of the unstructured uh, CSV files that you just saw, and then inserting the data into uh, into into hive. Uh, so this process will take uh, about a half a minute. All right, so the, the, the data is uploaded and table is created. So you can see that Ambari created a uh, table, BM results, and all of these are uh, various different columns of the tables. And um, uh, so if we look at the storage information, um, uh, it, the data is stored in the ORC format. Uh, and then you can also look at some of the statistics on table in terms of how many number of rows are there um, and then what is the size and all of that good stuff. Um, all right, so now we have data. Um, either we can query this data from, from Druckwe here, such as select star from BM results. And we're going to bring 10 rows execute the query and in a second you will see the uh, the data so now as a next step um, we are going to connect power bi with this data so that we can we can query directly or create a dashboard so this is power bi and i'll click on get data and then because we are using as the inside interactive query that's what we need to select Now I need to give the name of my SD Insight cluster uh, so that direct query can, can talk to this cluster. So I have already, I already have this name, do not delete LLAP cluster. And then I want to connect to default database. And we are direct query mode. So when I Okay, it asked me for me my username and password, so I'm going to provide that. And this is my cluster um, username and password.
All right. So I can see that that BM result table is here. So I will hit select that and hit load. So now Power BI direct query connection is created. And now you can create your dashboards. So let's fill, let's pick some fields. And then let's do filtering on the country. Now, when I make the selection, uh, the query is directly going against the interactive query. So, for example, if I look for the athletes from Australia, it is going to bring the results for Australia. And then if I look for Argentina, uh, it's going to bring the result for Argentina. Now we can actually go to the backend. Um, we can go to the test view and see that um, So this was the query that we ran. Um, and it came back in one second and 5.28 millisecond. So that's it. That's how you use um, SD Insight Interactive Query with Azure Power BI. Thank you.